Hey guys, we're going to do a review of the Algato Stream Deck. Now earlier we did do an unboxing of it, so you can check that out as well. Whoop whoop! So the first thing I want to point out is this is convenient, so if you don't already have one, please go and purchase one. They come with six buttons. The one we have is like in the middle range, like 15, 16 buttons, and then they also, I believe, have a 32, and I think that's the largest you could get of the Elgato series. Huh. I do like the medium uh, size I do have because it's it still is pretty, really, you know, pretty small. I mean, look at it in my hand. I can just hold it with one hand, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and then, of course, so when you're gaming, you're not always always going to be on your filming screen. So I use OBS. I'm not always going to be on that screen. Sometimes it's, I don't even really see myself being filmed while I play, but sometimes you can. Let me let me give you a little example. So this is how well, of course, this is how the desktop looks now because the desktop is using OBS. <laughs> and there's my little face in the corner. Hello. <laughs> and then you can switch to, let's say you haha, are playing with the switch and you want to hook it up in OBS, then this is what it's going to look like. Well, of course, it's not going to be black. Hopefully you're playing a game, but it's interesting. So this is um, how I normally would do whenever I play Arceus. Yes, right. Pokemon Arceus. And then, um, and look how fast you can just seamlessly. So I'm going to push start now. And look, it switches right away. So this is my starting stream uh, screen. I like having that. And then you can also mute the, you know, me. <laughs> or you can mute the music, really anything. It's really quite clever. And of course the ending. And we even have a be right back screen because you never know. But really you can just set this up what's in a way that just makes sense to you and you can choose to move the buttons in whatever place you'd like them to be okay you're not physically moving the buttons you are just going into the stream let me show you so as you can see I personalized uh, my buttons a little bit I you see that's a picture of me and so when I push that button on the deck of course it's going to focus on me let me push it now Anyhow, and then of course I have the gameplay button and I've been playing when I push that button I use Pokemon Arceus a lot so I decided to put a little Pokemon Eevee on there. Woohoo! And then of course the I like the moon because then you can just put the screen to sleep. Pretty simple, you know, to really set up. Um, so let's see here. What am I gonna show you? Alright, so you can edit the title. Uh, the screen and of course it correlates see with this list right here huh <sighs> I don't know it's pretty self-explanatory if you set it up wrong it's really easy to just fix your mistake and I don't really see how making mistakes is actually that easy because it's it's not hard at all <laughs> Um, but I do, I do like it. So I haven't said that enough, have I? All right, let me see if I can show you something more. All right, so I went ahead and I deleted the starting screen, AKA the starting button right here. So now we're gonna add it back. All right, so we got scene right here. Drag it over, make sure you're under OBS Studio, of course. And we're gonna talk Call it starting. There we go. We don't need about need to worry about the collection. And where is it starting? We just need to make sure it's the same name as it is in the scenes here, of course, because they're not gonna have a different one. All right, so yeah, starting, starting. Cool, cool. And then for the picture, you obviously you can go into your files, you can create a new icon. But anyway, I'll I'll put it in with my own picture later. But See what I mean though? It's pretty simple. As long as the OBS is connected here and look at all these other things. You can connect Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, of course. Uh, but yeah, like I said, pretty self-explanatory. Oh, and then also, these are enough buttons for you. You can make a whole new scene. Like, I don't know how many, 
they'll let us do. Let's actually see here. Whoa. All right, so it looks like it's 10. I don't know if you could delete these. Um, yeah, maybe not. Let's see here. Uh, well, that's okay. We have one page. <laughs> And that's what we're working with. This is what I've been working with for the past few months. And let me tell you, it's amazing. I like it so much. I hope you enjoy the review. And I hope you get the privilege of using one yourself. Let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. This has been Tracy with Bainsoft Games. If you like what you saw, you can like or leave a comment. Would you like to help support our channel? You can do so by heading on over to our Patreon. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell.